Oh, ladies and gentlemen, come gather around, come gather around, come gather around. Today, we're gonna use this sweet brake lathe to cut some rotors, because my brake paddle's doing the hippie shake shake whenever I hit the brake paddle, which makes my heart go to the flippity flop, and it makes me nervous. So we're gonna fix it, let's go. All right, you're looking at my wife's 2006 Infiniti M35X. This has all the drivetrain of a 350Z, but in a sedan that looks innocent and sweet. And it is usually rear wheel drive, unless it gets into trouble, and then it kicks in the front wheels to be all wheel drive, which is pretty cool. We're loading her up on the hoist, because uh, we're doing the front brakes. Again, because man, I sure seem to go through front brakes. Uh, basically, pull the wheel off. You got these big honking bolts that I think are 22 millimeter that are a little bit of a bugger to get at. Uh, but that unbolts the brake caliper bracket from the spindle. And then you want to hang that on a piece of, I usually use like eighth inch welding wire. Pull off the rotor. I can clean off with an abrasive disc or a surfacing disc or just wipe it clean because I've been in here not too long ago. So you want to set the rotor up as clean and no rust scale or anything on there. Set her all up. Um, and we're going to make sure that you set it up true because you can actually put these on the brake lathe a little bit crooked and then cut it true, but you actually cut it crooked because it was spinning crooked. So I set up the cutters. This was all dismantled for a job I did a while ago of short, no, widening a set of wheels. Uh, link up above. So we turn in the screws until it just touches, we turn it off, we loosen everything, we wiggly, 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 move it around, move it around with the verb of the noun, and we get the rotor in a different spot, and then we clamp her all down and take a teeny tiny cut again, just to see if we're consistently placing this on the machine. And if we are, we win. If you cut in a different spot every time, then you've got some issues you need to work out, and don't cut the rotor until you know. If you're doing this in the shop at the school, get me to check it before you do a, a final final cut or a first cut, really. So this one looks pretty good, um, I think. I think I screwed around with it a bunch more until it got consistent, and then we're pretty cool. Once you're pretty convinced that you got this thing sitting true, then you can cut a, take a cut off. And I usually set it to remove about 0 .004 of an inch at a time. It's just a number I like to use. If you don't get a clean cut on the other side, then I would take like maybe another four, depends how bad it is. But I always take a baby fart off of the opposite side. You want to always be cutting a little bit on both sides. I'm multitasking. While this is cutting, I'm taking the other rotor off and getting it ready for a cut as well. I put a little bit of never sneeze on the hub, a little bit on the studs. Uh, mixed feelings on whether you should do that with studs or not. I'm putting the caliper back on. I did not even change the pads because these brakes are relatively new. It just seems to be warping rotors. Uh, of course, the more you cut it, the less it can dissipate the heat well, and you're just going to warp them more. So I imagine pretty soon I'm just going to buy new rotors and just put those on because, man, I go through. Brake cleaner is pretty good. I'm pretty good at putting rotors back on without getting any fingerprints, but for you, my little cherubs, I'm showing you hosing it down with wonderful brake clean. Golly, I love the smell of brake clean. Love my, I love me my solvents. In this case, I'm using my impact torque bar. It's rated at 80 foot pounds, usually comes out closer to 75. You put that on your impact and you rattle it home with fury. So after a quick ride around the neighborhood, thing stops nice and smooth. No more herky-jerky in the foot pedal. My heart's not going jibbly jibbly jibbly. It's nice and smooth. Stops good. We're awesome. I need to do some research and figure out why am I going through, why am I warping the rotor so quickly. Calipers move nice. The sliders move nice. The pads are fine. Leave a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. Take care.